Okay, so it's um, April the 3rd. I started germinating the seeds uh, February the 9th. I have uh, quite a few plants that are nice and big. I have them sitting over, over at the far end. I have uh, some little tiny plants up on a higher platform and I have uh, some little plants here like medium sized plants sitting on a medium sized platform. It's right here, see, <laughs> just like that. I have my uh, T5 um, high output fluorescent bulbs from last year. I still have them set up and then um, I did uh, set up a 200 watt uh, uh, CFL bulb. It's not actually 200 watts, but it's a 200 watts uh, of implied uh, um, uh, output. Anyway, here I am. Um, I'll just quickly go through and show you what I have. I have a yellow scotch bonnet um, and a yellow fatale. Uh, the red fatale over here, I have two of those. Uh, then I have uh, three hot paper lanterns, there's one of them, and um, I have five Nagamorge plants, there's one, um, there's another one over here. Uh, I also have a poinsettia plant, not a poinsettia plant, pardon me, a poinsettia pepper, which is a Japanese pepper, um, and it's called that because uh, the peppers all kind of grow up in a nice little kind of poinsettia style, uh, as far as I could tell. and a, uh, Chupatinho from uh, Brazil, which is 150,000 uh, Scoville units, so it should be a nice, a nice pepper as well. I've never grown that before. Uh, here's another one of my uh, hot paper lanterns over here. Um, and then I have all the other Nagamorges up here. They're all pretty small. Here's uh, one. Uh, there's another one. See, they're all tiny. Another one over here. And I actually think that's a hot paper lantern over here. And um, there's a seven pod here. And you can see uh, it's the fact that uh, some of the seven pods uh, leaves were starting to come up yellow, turning yellow. I decided to put in the extra, the extra uh, wattage, the CFL bulb. So there's the other uh, red vitale there. There's another seven pod, but back there, and another one over here. They're all nice. The seven pods all came up early, and they're nice big plants. And I'm sure they're all fine. They'll be just fine. But I think they need a little more light than I was giving them. Okay, and then I have, uh, closest to this light, I have uh, another 7 pod, another one, and another one. You can see how big they all are. And um, I have two Demon Red over here. Those are American uh, pepper plants. And a yellow Scotch Bonnet over here. And here's a red Scotch Bonnet in front. There's another 7 pod over here. And uh, an Indian uh, pepper, the Pusa Jawala, which is uh, about 50,000 Scoville units. Um, Parira, don't really know too much about it. Uh, all I can see is it's an American uh, pepper, but that doesn't sound like the name of an American pepper. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out anyway what kind of a pepper that is. I have two uh, rings of fire uh, right over here. I have uh, two bird's eye, which are from Sudan, and they're about 250,000 Scoville units each, so I guess about the, you know, a good uh, habanero um, heat, but they're not habanero pepper. A lot of people know about bird's eye. I've never grown them before. And I have an Italian um, a pepper plant uh, called the Etna right over here. Again, uh, I've never grown it before. And I've almost forgot I have the Peter Yellow over here, and everybody knows what a Peter Peter Pepper is, so um, I'm really happy that that one germinated because I think that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna start growing that and see how how it comes up. Now I do have um, I have a friend who uh, who owns uh, a nursery in another province, and he was just nice enough to send me a whole packet of um, of all these different kinds of seeds. I had other seeds as well for a lot of different kinds of peppers. Um, none of them germinated, so um, all these ones are the ones that did. And uh, I've got, like I said, I've got 34 peppers, and I do believe that it's going to pretty much fill up my garden. Um, I, I'm still, I still might go to uh, to the nursery that's uh, close by the house. I usually do like to go there and uh, pick up some some plants, but I might not need to this year. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about my 
about my uh, varieties of peppers. I think it's going to be interesting to see all the kinds of peppers I have not grown before. And of course all the ones that I have. Um, I love the seven pods and I have seven of those as I've said. So I should have lots of those, lots of those uh, pods. Really nice. And the nagas, most of the nagas are pretty small. And this is another reason why I thought it would probably be a good idea to um, uh, plug in my uh, CFL bulb. Uh, I really want to give these guys, it's all, like I said, April the 3rd. I probably have another couple months, uh, May, June, before it's warm enough that I can actually plant them outside. Uh, so in a couple of months, uh, they should all be pretty good. Uh, even these little ones, but the more light that I can give them, uh, the better. Um, I have, right from the beginning, I've used uh, fertilizer sticks. Uh, they're uh, Job's actually, with um, high nitrogen. Uh, those are pretty much done now. And instead of putting another stick in there, I went and bought some miracle Grow all-purpose uh, fertilizer and um, added to the water. And I'm going to give them a good watering because you can see there, it's pretty dry. It actually is. I pretty much let them all dry out um, in between waterings and because uh, they really don't like to be overwatered. That's the main thing about them. So, um, so that's it. I am probably not going to do another video until it's uh, nice outside and I have all the plants uh, set up in the garden. Um, until then, I uh, appreciate your support. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and any comments that you leave, I'll definitely respond to. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, um, it's great having so many friends from so many different uh, parts of the world. Thank you. Bye.